In this video we are going to discuss about a Sufi literature a poem named Al Al-Aqiq Ijtamana This poem is often attributed to Shahabuddin Yahya ibn Habash Sufrawardi also known as Sufrawardi Al-Maqtul the founder of the illuminationist philosophy This attribution however is a matter of scholarly debate Al Al-Aqiq Ijtamana is the title of the poem it can be translated as we met by the aqiq The poem is known for its mystical and spiritual content reflecting the Sufi tradition's focus on divine love and the longing for union with the divine. The term aqiq here likely has symbolic connotations possibly referring to a sacred or significant place of gathering often understood in Sufi poetry as the meeting place of lovers the lover and the beloved where the beloved is often a metaphor for god. content and structure the poem typically features metaphorical language that is characteristic of sufi poetry it speaks of a spiritual meeting and the profound emotions and states experienced in such an encounter the imagery often revolves around the beauty of the beloved the pain of the separation and the joy of reunion all of which are a common theme in sufi literature in mystical or sufi poetry metaphors are often used to convey the profound spiritual concepts in a symbolic and esoteric manner the terms ain means i and jafan meaning eyelid can carry deep multilayered meanings ain as a metaphor the eye is a powerful symbol in many mystical traditions including sufism it can represent several esoteric meanings divine vision or insight the eye is often seen as a symbol inner vision spiritual insight in this sense the ain represents the ability to perceive the divine truth to see beyond the material world and into the realm of the spiritual it is not merely the physical eye but the eye of the heart basira which sees with clarity the realities hidden from ordinary perceptions the soul's window the eye is considered the window to the soul through which the divine light nur can enter the eye symbolizes the soul's capacity to witness the presence of god to be illuminated by divine light in sufi poetry the eye can also symbolize the eye of the beloved which holds the divine beauty and love the gaze of the beloved is often seen as transformative bringing the seeker closer to god jafan is a subtler symbol but rich in meaning eyelid can represent the veil that separates the soul from full vision or realization of the divine just as the eyelid closes over the eye obscuring vision the material world or the ego can close over the soul's spiritual sight preventing it from seeing the divine realities the opening of the eyelid symbolizes the lifting of this veil allowing the soul to perceive the truth the opening and closing of the eyelid can symbolize cyclical process of spiritual unveiling and veiling as the eyelid opens the soul catches a glimpse of divine light when it closes the vision is hidden reflecting the alternating states of spiritual clarity and obscurity that mystics experience the sufi concept of spiritual meeting beyond space and time sufi poetry is replete with imagery and metaphors that allude to a transcend reality a realm beyond the confines of our physical world the concept of a spiritual meeting is central to this mystical tradition the nature of reality in sufism Sufis believe in a reality that extends far beyond the physical world we perceive with our senses this realm is often described as the divine presence the ocean of being or the unseen al-ghayb it's a dimension where time and space as we understand them cease to exist the spiritual journey the sufi path is essentially a journey towards this transcendental realm the poet saint often referred to as auliya describe their experiences in this journey through their poetry these experiences are often characterized by unity with the divine the ultimate goal of the sufi is to achieve a state of union or oneness with the divine this is often described as a meeting or encounter with the beloved in this state of union the limitations of time and space are dissolved the poet saint experiences a timeless and spaceless reality the knowledge gained through these spiritual encounters is often described as experiential rather than intellectual it's a direct knowing it's a direct knowing beyond the realm of conceptual understanding sufi saints and prophets are often seen as guides on the spiritual path their lives and teachings are studied and emulated by seekers their poetry 
filled with insights into the divine serves as a map for those navigating the inner journey while saints and prophets might seem distant figures sufi mystics believe that they are part of a continuous chain of spiritual transmission their teachings and experiences are accessible to all seekers regardless of their time and place in essence the sufi concept of a spiritual meeting is not a literal gathering in a physical space but a union of consciousness with the divine transcending the limitations of our ordinary world it's a profound experience shared by saints prophets and seekers alike the sufi path is essentially a journey towards the transcendental realm now into the poem alal aqiqi jutamana together the phrase means we gathered upon the gate this phrase is often used metaphorically and poetically referring to a place of meeting gathering or a shared experience the agate is often used as a symbol of beauty value or a precious thing nahnu wa sud al ayun ala al aqiq ijtamana nahnu wa sud al ayun ma wanna majnun layla qad janna bad jununi fa ya ayuni ayuni wa ya jafuni jafuni wa ya qalbi tasabb ala allazi faraquni nazaltu ahla al mutaya wa qultuhum yahmiluni ila manazili qaumi saru wala wadauni فارقتم الصر يسنين صبح الصلوس وحشون هم سادتي قلفوني ابكي دمام عيوني بكيت حتى رسالي اطير فوق الغسول بالله ان مت شوقا بيدمعي غسلوني سر يا رسولي اليهم شوقا وقبل يديهم وقرا سلامي عليهم لعلهم يرحموني جاني رسولي يضحك وقال ابشر بسلحك بحق عيشك وملحك هم بالوصال يوعدوني